Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new campaign for the channel. This is the Gambler's Campaign for the F-16 in DCS World as put together by Baltic Dragon. And I guess the big difference between this and most of the other campaigns that I've done is this one is really based on real events. Uh, this one was co-authored by John Rain Waters who is a former Viper demo pilot, and he served in the various operations over Syria battling ISIS. And this campaign is really recreating them, highlighting some of the missions that he took part in, and other missions that although he did not take part in, uh, he knows people who did. Now this opening mission is mostly just flavour fluff, uh, we're getting some setting, some first interaction with the crew, there's not a lot going on, the idea is we're just been flying over from Spain on our way to land in Jordan to uh, join up and get ready for the operation. So if you are only interested in the action then you can probably skip this video. But it is a pretty interesting start. Some things do go notably a bit awry towards the end of the mission, so we'll cover those when we get there. Uh, but anyway, most of this is just going to be talking back and forth, but the voice acting is really on point, so I'll let you enjoy that. Affirm. This is 
Also, part of the civilian traffic that normally passes over the area has been moved here. Roger. So, hold this area to no fly zone? Technically, yes. But that doesn't stop a saw from bombing his own people. There are parts where we're not allowed to fly. But you'll see our allies, Israelis, Turks, Russians, occasionally Iranians up there, too. That will help with identifying the bad guys. The bad guys won't be flying anything. Don't expect too much air to air. Our main focus will be on ground pounding. John Curb, outposts, strongholds, convoys, artillery positions, refineries, ambushers, you name it. We have very limited anti-air capabilities, but determined as hell. Any attacks on our side? Not too many, but yes. We have trained some of the rebels for that. Also, some back A's and A-10s will be coming to Kuwait very soon. But, uh, Hotel November 045. So here we have a cute little system that pops up, you can see it just there on the right, uh, where there are inbuilt uh, HOTAS controls for uh, guiding you through various choices throughout the campaign. 
Uh, what this uses is a disused uh, instrument on the cockpit which has a three position switch. She can bind to your HOTAS, doesn't do anything, but this mission uh, campaign picks it up. The campaign has a introduction tutorial mission that just lasts about 10 minutes to help you get through all of that and learn how to use it. But it seems really neat and it means that you can respond to orders without having to go through the F10 menu and without having to use the spacebar, uh, which you may know using spacebar isn't always uh, too good since that is also normally fire weapon and so uh, sometimes if you double press you can end up doing something silly and faffing around with the F10 menu is never overly fun. Uh, this just gives you a little bit more of an immersive way of making those decisions. Quite a nice feature I thought and uh, certainly interesting to see the kind of choices we get in the campaign. Going east northeast is the A10 motorway. If you follow along. 
long enough, it will eventually get you to Baghdad. Sure did your homework, boss. The yellowish line to our left is the border. There is a fence as well as some ground fortification between Jordan and Syria, which makes it easier for us to see where we are. This place is so barren. And unfortunately, this is where this mission breaks. Um, it's very, very disappointingly, everything seems to start going wrong here. Um, the two lead aircraft who are supposed to be landing at this H4 site uh, don't. They instead do a U-turn, burn about 100 kilometers away, and I checked up in the final game debriefing that they landed at a completely different airfield. They landed at Hussein Airfield. Um, not really sure why they did that, but that completely missed the scripting because the scripting was then meant to trigger when they landed, and so we never got the orders to land ourselves. I ended up flying around in circles until I got to uh, Bingo Fuel and then critically low, and decided to screw it, I'll go in for a visual landing. And that's just where even more goes wrong. Um, for some reason, I can't lower my landing gear. Whenever I push the uh, landing gear down, it just automatically resets into the up position. And I tried messing around for ages with various control settings. It's definitely bound correctly. I tried using every setting I could, looked through Chuck's guide, looked through uh, Reddit, cannot find any reason why this is happening. If you know why this is happening, please do let me know. Uh, I tried immediately afterwards, just in a uh, random instant action flight, and the controls were working fine, landing gear was working absolutely correctly. So I don't know if there's something weird with the setup, something that I did wrong here, or just a weird glitch with this particular mission, but either way, it just would not let me put my landing gear down at this point. So after trying everything I could think of, ditching the stores in case those were causing issues, trying everything, trying repeatedly, uh, trying to look up any back around um, settings that I had wrong, I just end up deciding that, right, I'm out of fuel, I'm gonna have to belly land it, and so that's what I do, do an alright belly landing here, plenty of sounds of scraping metal, but I do make it down without exploding, and then just, uh, yeah, end that there. Um, 
not ideal, a uh, little bit weird. Uh, might be something that was scripted to happen and would have been explained as part of the uh, mission text if the lead flight had actually landed where they were supposed to and so that we then um, actually got the rest of the mission. So yeah, um, not a great start to the new campaign. I'm hoping this is a one-off uh, issue just with the opening mission. Hope this isn't a sign of things to come. Uh, either way, I hope you do join me next week for the next mission, which does promise some actual action. And until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.